Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Children's Liturgy. Today is the third Sunday in Ordinary Time and the date is January 23rd, 2022. To begin, I just wanted to go through a review of last Sunday's video. Um, so within that video, we heard from the Gospel of John about the wedding at Cana. So if you recall, this is where Jesus performed his first miracle of turning water into wine. So Jesus did this to show that he truly is the son of God. And just a final reminder, we talked a lot about miracles. So miracles are basically um, when we don't know how something great has happened and it cannot be explained, then it is a miracle done by God. Okay, so keep those things in the back of your minds as we go through our new lesson for today. Um, to start us off, please join me in the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, you sent your Son Jesus to share the good news of your love for everyone. May we also share this good news through our words and all that we do. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so we're going to watch a video about our gospel today. So today we're learning about the gospel of Luke. Okay, so within this, we're going to see what happens when Jesus visits Nazareth. Okay, so we'll watch closely and we will see where it goes from there. Jesus went to his hometown, Nazareth. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue like he usually did. The Sabbath day was a holy day of rest. On that day, the Jews gathered in the synagogue to worship God. The synagogue was a special building where Jews met together to pray, to worship, and to learn about the scriptures. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have been treated badly and to announce that the Lord's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it back to the attendant and sat down. Everyone who was in the synagogue stared at Jesus. Jesus said, today, as you listen to me reading these words, they came true. The people said good things about Jesus and they were amazed at him. Okay, we're just gonna stop that there. Um, so that was a short uh, gospel for today. Um, but I do want us to reflect on what we heard. Um, so just to start off, like I always do, what is something you remembered from the gospel? Were there any points that you stood out? Sorry, that stood out for you. Um, again, these questions you can kind of think about on your own. Um, if you're watching this video with anyone, you can talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so as we're going through these, just make sure you're taking a second to kind of reflect and think about what we just heard. Um, so the second question to think about, the scripture passage talks about what Jesus has been sent to do. What does it say? So what did we hear in this video um, that Jesus has been sent to do? Okay, what did he tell us as well? So in the video, we also heard that Jesus has come to bring good news to people who are poor. What do you think that this means? And lastly, can you remember a time when you heard some good news? What was it? So this could be anything, any form of good news. Okay, so like I said, take a second to reflect, pause the video um, if you need to for a moment, and we will move on in a second to discuss more. Okay, so hopefully you had a second to think about those questions. Um, I just wanted to go through a few important points. So what we saw in the video was Jesus was teaching in a synagogue. Okay, so he read a passage from the scriptures, which is about himself, although the people listening don't know that until after. And basically, this um, passage was sharing the good news. Okay, so good news can mean different things to different people, right? So it can be confidence, peace, enough food, light and darkness, doing well at school, getting to spend the day with friends. So where I asked you on the last um, slide there, what's some good news that you may have heard? You may have talked about um, some of these things mentioned here. It could have been maybe you get to see a family member or a friend you haven't seen in a long time. Um, maybe you get another snow day, who knows, right? Okay, um, so good news can mean different things for all of us. 
So in this case, um, what we heard about in the passage today, the good news was that we are all God's children and God loves us all. Okay, so no matter where in the world we are, whether we are, we are rich or poor, um, we should all have the chance to live in a world of peace, dignity, and fairness, and God loves us no matter what. Okay, so that good news, um, Jesus said it a little bit differently, but again, all along the same lines, the takeaway would be that God loves us all no matter what. So how do you think we can try to share this good news with our brothers and sisters around the world today? So it doesn't have to necessarily be to someone like halfway around the world, but how can you share the good news of Jesus? Okay, so I kind of want you to think about that today. Um, you know, maybe you can share that with a friend, a family member, a stranger, who knows, right? Just try and think of ways that you can spread that message that God loves us all no matter what. Okay, so that is it for our gospel today. So please join me in the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God of life, you call us to share your good news. May we do all that we can to answer the call. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so for today, I have a small activity for us. Um, so it is a coloring page that will be posted along with this video. Um, so we can see in this picture, Jesus is reading the scripture in the synagogue. Okay, so just like we saw in the video from our gospel for today. Um, so you can color this, um, use whatever colors you would like, okay, to reflect what we learned about today. Before I sign off, we do have a concluding song today. So it's called when I look up. Um, there are some little actions in it, so feel free to sing along, dance along. Okay, so we'll watch this and then we will sign off for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed that song. I know it's been stuck in my head since I first heard it, so I'm sure that it'll be stuck in your head as well. And hopefully it'll remind you to think of ways that you can share the good news that God loves us all. Okay, that's all that I have for today. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you again next weekend. Bye.